Hello YouTube, it's Harley here with an episode of Inside Minecraft Xbox. This is where we break down all the tools and the mathematical numbers uh, for the Minecraft Xbox version to see what tools better than what tool or, or what works better than something else. It's just a comparison uh, by using numbers because sometimes our eyes can deceive us. So uh, today's episode we're going to cover the multi-tool axe which is now available to create uh, because of the anvil and the enchanted books and we're going to compare it with the sword and the shovel so it's like the multi-tool axe versus the sword versus the shovel so the multi-tool axe i have uh, some enchantments on it it's a uh, silk touch i just put silk touch on there for the heck of it to max out the enchantments but the main ones are unbreaking three which is probably the most important because you're mining blocks you're not supposed to be mining efficiency five and sharpness five that kind of creates it to a multi-tool because it has a uh, it has stuff it has enchantments on it like sharpness that it shouldn't have now the sword that i'm using only has sharpness five and the shovel i'm using only has efficiency five so those are the enchantments on the tools i'm comparing it with uh, i didn't see the need of putting unbreaking on the sword or shovel i could have but i don't think it would change my data because all i'm looking for is speed and how they compare now for the axe versus the sword, we're going to compare like uh, how many hits it takes for the main mobs. Uh, the mobs uh, I selected uh, are the creeper, the skeleton, the zombie, and the spider. It's just the four generic mobs that are normally in the game. You see the most. I didn't do Enderman. I didn't see the need because this will tell us ideally uh, what how good and efficient is because you don't see Enderman as often as you see the other ones. Now, for the creeper, we're going to measure, or for all of them, we're going to measure how many hits it takes. For the creeper, the axe took two hits, the sword took two. The skeleton, the axe took two hits, the sword took two. For the zombie, the axe took two hits, the sword took two hits. For the spider, the axe took one hit, and the sword took two hits. So, to break that down, the only difference is, is the spider took one hit, with the axe and the sword took two hits so by this data right here the multi-tool axe is better than the sword uh, just barely by the one hit of the spider uh, I looked on the video this isn't a critical hit I wasn't running I thought I was when I when it happened but I looked at it I wasn't running I was sitting still and I hit him it all depends where you hit the enemy of course uh, so I would say this is very very close to pretty much the same data uh, this is there's a slight difference in favor of the axe but it's so uh, minute that it could be negligible data so I'd say they're, they're the same there now the multi-tool axe versus a shovel I took in uh, to account uh, two blocks the grass block and the wood block uh, these are the two main blocks you mine with each uh, like the axe goes with the wood block and the grass goes with the shovel and we're just going to check its speed and efficiency and how fast it actually works so for the multi-tool axe uh, with the grass block it mined 239 blocks per minute the shovel mined 242 blocks per minute so it's a uh, the data is in favor with the shovel by a couple blocks, but that's so many blocks, guys, that it's minute. It's it's not it's not really anything you can look at. It's it's so small of an error or so small of a difference that uh, it's pointless, <laughs> honestly. So I'd say they're the same with the grass block. The axe and the shovel are equivalent on the grass block. Now the wood block. The axe mined 118 blocks per minute and the shovel mined 119 blocks per minute. So I'd say there, they're about the same. It's one block difference. Uh, there, it's less blocks, but still it's so many blocks that you won't notice. And honestly, when you're mining wood, you're not going to be mining straight blocks like that, uh, like I was in the video, but I just wanted the speed. Uh, of course, when you're mining blocks, that, uh, that number is not accurate because you're having to move on to another tree and, and stuff like that but I would say they're the same speed. So the multi-tool axe is pretty much the same as the sword and shovel. Um, it's honestly, I wouldn't say it's better, but I wouldn't say it's worse, uh, but it's definitely a very good tool. 
I would say to have into your inventory, but is it necessary? Uh, all you're going to be saving is maybe some time switching to tools, and you'll save a spot in your inventory. But I don't think it's I don't think it's necessary. I think it'll be something cool to have, and it's kind of a goal of mine to get one in survival now. Uh, but I don't think it's necessary. The one huge difference I noticed is when you repair this tool. Now keep in mind that the sword and shovel I have, uh, I'm trying to repair, only have one enchantment on it, and that's the sharpness five and efficiency five. The sh uh, the multi tool axe has four enchantments on it, so it takes 47 levels and one diamond to fully repair uh, the axe. Uh, that's a lot of levels, but it can be it can be done, especially if you have Enderman farm or anything. But the sword takes 10 levels in one diamond. The shovel takes 12 levels in one diamond. And it's that way because the axe has so many enchantments on it. I'm sure if I would have threw on some more enchantments on the sword and shovel, they would be up there in levels also. So I still think the multi-tool axe is a, a good tool, but that's a lot of that's a lot of books you got to get. And uh, that's a lot of enchanting, but I think it'd be awesome to get, and I'll probably work towards the getting one. Uh, but I don't think it's necessary. I think you can withdo with the sword and shovel. So that's the multi-tool axe, guys. I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it taught you something, and it was interesting because this stuff is really fun to do, but it takes a lot of time to get all this data, but I really enjoy uh, getting making these videos. It's, it's really interesting to me. So... I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please leave a like. It helps me a lot. And leave a comment on uh, what other thing you would like for me to work on for Inside Minecraft Xbox. But that's all I got, guys. And I'll talk to you guys later.